Well, Leon Canazero is out. It is the end of a very long political career for him. That's right. The lifelong Democrat had made the decision not to seek re-election. That was announced about two hours ago. His 12 years as the city's top prosecutor filled with a lot of highs and a lot of lows. I, Leon A. Canazaro, Jr. 12 years ago, Leon Canazaro stepped off the bench and ran for district attorney in New Orleans, defeating lawyer Ralph Capitelli in a very heated race. Canazaro had spent more than 20 years as a judge at Orleans Parish Criminal Court and with the State Appeals Court. One of his first big wins is DA, 2009, convicting gang leader Michael Anderson of a quintuple homicide, a conviction that was later vacated as Anderson took a plea deal in federal court to serve multiple life sentences. Canazaro's office prosecuted hundreds of murder cases. He claims to have successfully convicted almost 700 killers, including the 2014 Bourbon Street shooter, Trung Lee, and Cardell Hayes, the man who killed football star Will Smith. His daughter, Laura, serving as his top prosecutor for many high-profile violent crime cases. Leon Canazero put a priority on gang activity and focused on street-level drug dealing. He also sent most nonviolent misdemeanor cases to municipal court, allowing his prosecutors to focus on more violent crimes across the city. And he reformed a pretrial diversion program that almost 5,000 people successfully went through. But with the good comes the bad. And a low point is when his office was accused of using fake subpoenas to get people to come to court and testify. Canazero denies any wrongdoing, but the matter is still tied up in civil court and many feel the move was unconstitutional. We're not here to fear monger anybody. He also repeatedly feuded with mayors and council members over his budget as City Hall controls his pocketbook. I was asked to weigh in. And now at almost 70 years old, Canazaro is making the decision to not seek re-election.